I said, let's go start getting on some bikes. <laughs> so a pretty exciting day here as we're gonna be among the first to use the brand new e-bike city bikes, the new model. Here they are. It's so fun. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. I barely slept. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm pretty sure you guys had a full night's rest. I couldn't wait to be here. What's your first impression of the color itself? It's, it's futuristic. It looks like uh, straight out of 2023. I can't wait to hop on. This is a beautiful thing. And so when we thought about the design of this new bike, we tried to simplify all the features, give it double the battery length so you can go farther, make a larger motor so you can get up those hills a little bit faster and easier and really create a great simple experience. As you can see on this little smart screen, it actually tells you the battery percent, which is pretty cool. You don't get that on a normal city bike. No complaints. They made a great upgrade with the seat. You can just pull this up, up, down. It's tight. That's simple. So this right here is definitely going to help out to, for the people to see that you have to be in shape. Once you pedal, it helps you move with force forward. This is assisted. So it's a great opportunity. This is a great mechanism. Our seniors can ride these bikes. A knee replacement, a hip replacement, it doesn't matter. They're here. They're accessible. They're available. It feels like an upgrade. Less muscles and more speed control. And it does accelerate way faster, like you can feel it. Oh wow. Like Good. to reach top speed, yeah. Probably like three seconds the most. <laughs> My favorite feature is the minimalism of it, right? You don't have to worry about gears, you don't have to worry about any settings. You get on and it does it. These bikes, they're not showing it right now, but at night they have retroflective paint on them. So it's kind of like a street sign. Uh, the basket has this new little tie that I think keeps things a lot more secure. Whether you got a purse, a backpack, Whatever your belongings, they're not falling out on top of the Queensboro. How was your ride today? Oh man, great. Smooth, fast. Our friends, our families all over this borough are so excited for the system to expand. Fresh Meadows, Fort Totten, Far Rockaway. We need City Bike for all. Let's see how good it clicks in. Wow. There we wow, go. Wow, look at that. It looks so that was cool. sweet. <laughs> Wow, that, that is was, like no worries. That was fast, pretty easy. Wow. Look at what it says on it now. I'm electric, try me. <laughs> As someone who was born and raised in multiple NYCHA developments, All right, now. I absolutely understand the challenges that many NYCHA residents face. Those challenges stem from unequal access to resources. The Astoria houses, is a transit desert for so many reasons. Uh, for years we grew up, and I, I guess we would call this a two-fare zone. You have to take a bus to the subway. Because of city bike, it's opened up many areas for people to be able to go back and forth. Because even now, with the scheduling of the public buses, it still takes a long time for people to get to their places. And now I'm gonna finally get to ride one. I covered this ride with a 61 pound non-electric bike. As you can see, I'm the only one sweating. So it's time to get a much easier ride. Where are you going to ride to, Clarence? Oh, uh, Long Island. We're in Long Island City. Maybe the park for a block or two. Check it out.